talk of Mughal's period activism, imagine that you're a Christian in 7th century Arabia. And you see Muhammad come and he says, Jesus is not the son of God. God has no son. Jesus never died on the cross. Jesus never rose from the dead. And he claims that this is the message of Jesus, that Jesus was a Muslim, just as Muhammad is a Muslim, and that this is the true gospel. What would your response be? Would you think, hmm, I guess the best thing I can do in this situation is to remain completely silent. To ignore this, to, you know, to go on with my business, whatever it is, you know, feeding the camels or what have you. Or would you think, maybe, maybe I should argue against this. What would Jesus do in such a situation? It's not very hard to see. You see, in the Gospels, the Pharisees preach a false gospel, false teaching, a false interpretation of the Bible. They don't value love high enough. They don't recognize the Messiah. They want to kill the Messiah. And what do we see again and again and again? Jesus counters the false teachings of the Pharisees and he preaches the truth. Paul later says to Timothy in 2 Timothy 4, preach the word, be prepared in season and out of season, correct rebuke and encourage with great patience and careful instruction. For the time will come when people will not put up with sound doctrine and instead to suit their own desires, they will gather around them a great number of teachers to say what their itching ears want to hear. They will turn the ears away from the truth and turn aside to myths. But you keep your head in all situations and your hardship do the work of an evangelist and discharge all the duties of your ministry. What does an evangelist do? They evangelize. And Paul explicitly says in verse 2 that we should correct, rebuke and encourage. That is, when people preach these false teachings, we should not ignore it. We should correct them and rebuke them. And this is what we see time and again in the epistles of the holy apostles. You know, John brings up this false teaching that Jesus uh, never came in the flesh in his first letter in the fourth chapter. And he says, this is anti-Christ teaching and we should have nothing to do with that. You know, you, sh you should not believe that. And there are many other examples that Paul brings up this false teaching, these false apostles who preach the false gospel. And he says, well, if even an angel comes and preaches another gospel that I'm preaching, don't believe him. All right. So, so this is what we should do when we are faced with false teaching. Now, as you know, I've done a couple of videos on Jason Westerfield. I love Jason Westerfield. I have been so encouraged when I've seen his ministry, especially in the Finger of God of Furious Love ministry. And I was crushed when I realized that he is a new age preacher. But I, 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 when, I, when I put up my first video and I didn't plan on making more than one video, I just put up a video where I commented on the fact that Bill Johnson has described Jason Westerfield as a false preacher. There were so many people commenting and there were so, people, so many people uh, who disagree with me who said that no, Jason Westerfield is not a New Age preacher. Jason Westerfield is a Christian preacher. He's a Christian. Why, why, why do you say that he's a New Ager? Have you, have you seen anything? Has he said anything? You know? And then a couple of months made, for, for five months I never wrote or, or did any video about Jason Westerfield. And suddenly he posts an 18 minute video where he preaches New Age. He starts a website opening the Western Gates where he preaches New Age. And I've compared this with a website, New Age websites. And it's clearly New Age. It's copy pasted New Age from astrological um, New Age and, and from these uh, old uh, Egyptian mythology and, and idolatry. This is new age. There's no doubt about it. And when I've been saying that, some Christians claim, you're wrong. This is a new age. This is just a, you know, a new revelation that God has given his church. And then me and my friend Zane were made this 45-minute um, video where we you know, read the Bible, what the Bible says about false prophets. And then we just explain why this is new age. Now, a new form of criticism. <laughs> has arrived in the comment sections of my YouTube videos, which I don't get. And that is from Christians who say that they agree with me. They agree with me that Jason is a New Age preacher and they think that that's, that's evident, which I guess it is because 
it is evident, but he also claimed that all Christians know this. There's no reason to make these videos. They say, your videos do more harm than good because, you know, everybody can already tell that Jason is a New Age preacher. We don't need videos explaining that he's a New Age preacher. We may need videos where, we, you know, we, we, we pray for him and we encourage him and, and we, you know, uh, tell him to come back. Now, in response to the first argument, that is a lie. That's a lie. And their brothers or sisters who have commented this, you can check the, the very commentary section that you have posted your comment in and you will see Christians who claim that Jason Westerfield isn't preaching New Age, who claim that Jason Westerfield is a Christian. His web conference was attended by 200 people, many of which claim to be Christian. Some don't claim to be Christian. I've, I've read one uh, comment from a, a lady who was a part of this conference and he, she's saying that now, now we realize that one religion already exists. It's based on one race of people who are genetically modified by a group of extraterrestrials that from the sky came. She's written this on Jason Westerfield's official Facebook. And uh, the, there's a lady who's been responsible for the conference and she says Christianity is not the one true worldview. Jesus is the only Logos of this planet sent here to teach us about the royal bloodline. Christianity is a religion devised by the Vatican to keep people enslaved to the idea of sin and need of a savior. Christianity is a mind control program enhanced by MK Ultra. Um, yeah, so, so there's obviously some people who follow Jesus who don't claim to be Christian. They can claim to follow Jesus. To some extent, um, but they're not Christian. In the same way that Muhammad says that he followed Jesus, but you know, it's, it's not Christianity, it's New Age. Um, but then there are also some people who claim to be Christians, like Will, a guy who has commented on my blog. He's a Christian and he thinks that Jason is too. So these people do exist. And I'm not saying that, you know, Christians who claim that a New Age preacher is a Christian, you know, are stupid. I don't claim that. I, I just think it's really important for preachers like myself to continue to preach the truth. Because it's, it's not about intelligence, it, it's about spiritual maturity. And if, if we cannot see, if we cannot separate the truth um, from falsehood, that means that preachers like me have been preaching too little. And we haven't been preaching enough. And we haven't done our job. And so to counter that, we should not... Ignore this. We should not remain silent. We should preach the truth. We should rebuke those who preach falsehood. All right. Now, the second point I've even, um, I don't even remember. <laughs> the first point was that all Christians realize that this is a true Christianity, these people say, but that's clearly uh, false. And the second video, uh, or second point, I guess, is that. Um, you know, the, these videos do more harm than good and, and that is not good for Jason's family and so on. Now, obviously there's no evidence for that. <laughs> um, oh, yeah, the, the, they also claim that I don't have, you know, a, a heart for, for Jason's repentance and I, I should encourage him instead and so on. And, you know, you can see if you watch the whole videos that I've posted, um, you can see that I do that in every video. I, I do long for Jason to come back to the truth. I really pray for him. I really love him and I really hope that he will come back. And if Jason's watching this, God bless you. Please come back to Jesus. Please leave New Age behind you. Um, yeah, so in response to this censorship, um, you know, orders <laughs> from some people, I'll just say... Um, God bless you, but stop telling you know, pe people who preach the truth to, to remain silent. Go to those who preach falsehood, tell them to remain silent. But there's no biblical evidence whatsoever that when faced with false teaching, Christian leaders, Christian preachers should remain silent. There's no evidence whatsoever that that is a good strategy. That sounds like a ridiculously bad <laughs> strategy. Because obviously, then this deception will just be spread on. And I will continue to preach the gospel no matter what. I will always stay close to Jesus. And I, I pray to him before everything I make. And uh, I, I just want to proclaim the truth. And that can never be a problem. Thank you for watching. God bless you.